Now you may have wondered, well, if a star is a main sequence star, you're able to find the absolute magnitude of the star. All you have to do is find the color of the star relative to the temperature and then find the corresponding luminosity on the vertical scale over here. But not all red stars are main sequence stars. There are a number of stars that are giants. Some of our small giants, they call them subgiants. Some are regular giants, some are bright giants, some are supergiants. And of those, there's the very luminous supergiants and the less luminous supergiants. And you can see that there's a large difference in the luminosity of these stars, and they all are red. So how can you tell a red main sequence star from a giant red star, and which giant red star will it be? Because if you pick the wrong one, you're definitely going to pick the wrong luminosity for that star. Well, it turns out we were actually able to figure out for those very, for the number of subclasses of red giants, due to their spectral uh, analysis, we can actually see subtle differences in the spectral lines that are more dominant in some giants than in others, depending upon their size. So we can actually identify which giant we're looking at and identify that we're looking at a giant star rather than a main sequence star so that we can find the correct luminosity. And so we've come up with a new subclass, a set of subclasses called the luminosity classes. And so the luminous supergiants are the class 1a and the less luminous supergiants are class 1b. So they're both class as the supergiant red giants. And so we have less and more luminous uh, types of those. Then we have the next one where we have bright giants and not quite as big as the supergiants, but they're still giant red stars. So we call them the bright giants. Then we have the regular giants, which is luminous, luminosity class 3. And finally, the subgiants, luminosity class 4, before we get to the main red sequence stars. And so that's how we've been able to identify those as well. Without going into details of how exactly we do that, that would be for another video, you can at least see that we can still find the luminosity of these red giants, and therefore for the red giants we can do the same thing as we do for the main sequence stars. We can find their absolute magnitude by simply looking at their color, then we look at their luminosity class by looking at their uh, at their uh, spectral lines, determining which type of luminosity class it belongs to, and then from that go in here and read the actual luminosity of that, then compare that to the luminosity that we see them, uh, that, we, that they appear uh, as when we measure their luminosity, compare the two distances, and again find the distance, just like we did in the previous videos, to those stars. So we've got it pretty well covered. Now the red giants are a rare class indeed, Less than 1% of all the stars are red giant stars, so the vast majority are indeed the main sequence stars. But because the red giants are so interesting to study, and just because they're so bright, so they're easily found and seen, we still want to be able to determine the distance to those stars to understand them better as well. And that's how we do that.